welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another ColourPop review video. You guys, I can't stop. <laughs> I can't stop. I won't stop. ColourPop can't stop. They won't stop. I have been buying ColourPop since day one and I have such a huge collection of ColourPop items, but I've stopped buying their lipsticks. I've stopped buying their Super Shock shadows just because I don't need any more, but their eyeshadow palettes continue to rock my world. So today I'm going to be talking about the Element of Surprise palette. So if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts on this palette, just keep watching. Now if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I upload every other day so you do get a ton of content from me. I do hope you will consider subscribing so you can keep up with all the new stuff that's happening on here. Also, I have a ColourPop giveaway still going on on my channel. I'm giving away a little My Little Pony palette, so if you guys haven't gotten your hands on that palette yet, all the information is going to be in the description box so you can enter to win that palette. Now without further blabbering, let's get into my review video of one of the newest palettes by ColourPop, The Element of Surprise. Now you guys, the reason it takes me so long to review palettes is because I do actually test them on myself and I don't wear makeup every day. I do usually wear it to work so I have like five opportunities in a week to wear a palette and I have been rocking this palette all week long. I do have some looks to share with you guys. I will pop them up on the screen so you can check them out but if you want to see me testing definitely follow me on Instagram. My handle will go right here so you guys can follow me. It's just Karen Harris Makeup and I'm obviously more active on there just because it's so easy to post to Instagram so if you guys are excited or want to see what I'm constantly loving and wearing on my face, definitely check me out on Instagram. Now this palette, like I said, I've been testing it all week and I'm excited to tell you guys about it. This is the Element of Surprise palette. They came out with this one and another one. Was it You Had Me at Hello? I haven't even really used that one. I did use it one time, but I've been trying to work on one palette at a time. So this was the one I was most excited for anyway, so I thought I'd test this and review it first for you guys. As you can see, I've dipped into all the colors in this palette, and I did film a demo using this palette, so I will go ahead and insert that right here. Okay guys, so I've been testing this palette out all week, and I'm actually going to go out to dinner with some of my girlfriends, so I thought I would film a little demo of this palette for you guys. So I did prep my lids, and I've been basically using this palette all week, so I just grabbed the same brushes that I've been using. Also, if you guys are curious, this cup holder is from Target. It's from the Sonia Kashuk line. She came out with like a marble set of brushes and this cup holder and I couldn't resist. Like I didn't even need this, but I was like, oh my god, it's so cute. So I of course bought it for no apparent reason. So I am going to start off with um, the brow bone. So I'm going to use this color, which is like a peachy color, and I'm just going to place that underneath my brows just to give it a little highlight. I'm just using a shadow brush and I'm just, you know, plopping that on right below my brow bone just to give it that lightened up look. Sometimes people like to use a shimmer with this, but there's not really an amazing shimmer shade to do that with. The light shimmer in this palette, this color, has a flip to it, so I wouldn't recommend putting that underneath your brow bone. I have been loving these two crease colors, this one and this mustard one. Oh my god, it's so pretty. It doesn't look as mustardy on the lid, but I still love it. So I'm just going to place that in my crease like so and just blend it. And this brush is a R38 brush from Morphe. Just blending that in to the crease. You don't have to have a Morphe brush, of course. Any blending brush will do. This is just happens to be the one I'm using today. So I like to blend that out pretty nicely here. And then I also go into this shade, which is a little bit of a darker reddish brown. And I like to darken up my crease with that. So I always start on the outside and then blend it in to that mustard type color. So looks like that. And then I really am loving darkening up 
the outer crease with this color right here. Oh my gosh, it's like a beautiful purpley dark shade. Oh, it's like a grape. Oh my god, I love this. So I always just put this in the outer corner and this brush, which is a Morphe M433 brush, is perfect for darkening up the outer crease. I just put it in my crease right here and just wiggle it around and then you can like drag the shade in a little bit if you wanted to create kind of like a gradient effect. And I'm pretty generous with the shade because I just love this color so much. And it's such a fun color for the fall too. Colourpop is just slaying my soul right now. I mean, that new palette that they came out with, it's on its way to me, so you guys can expect to see it on my channel soon here. Oh god, I just, oh my god, this color, I just love this. I've been doing this all week, just putting this shade in the outer corner. I should really figure out what the names of these colors are, but I just can't really be bothered. And then, just to add a little more darkness. I'm going to put this color in my crease as well. This one has a little bit of a bronzy gold fleck to it, but honestly it doesn't like really mess my shadow up. So I like to put that in the very outer corner as well, just to kind of darken up my lids. Oh god, this is like my go-to fall look right now. So I love that. And then to finish it off, all I need to do is foil on a lid shade, so I'll show you how I do that. So to foil, I'm going to use this bottle, which actually contains the ColourPop. I have a priming spray in here. This is a setting spray. These sprayers suck, so I actually bought these glass bottles on Amazon. Um, I looked for one with a fine mist, and this is awesome, so now I can just use these to... Um, use up that ColourPop priming spray because I didn't want to use it because of how bad it was. So I'm dipping into this red color down here and I'm just going to foil that on my lid. And I actually posted a picture of this look or I'm pretty sure this is exactly what I did and people really liked it. It was on my Instagram. So if you guys saw that look and liked it, here's kind of how I did it. So I did mess up here a little bit, so I'm going to have to clean that out. But do you see how gorgeous that foil? Like, it's so vibrant and beautiful. So, yeah, that's basically the look. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my face, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the demo. It's always fun to see the product, you know, actually go on. And this palette is a dream, just like all the other ColourPop palettes. I love all of them. Like, for different reasons, I love them all. I love the shade selection. I just picked up their holiday palette. I cannot wait for it to get here so I can start playing with it. It'll be here on Monday, so I'm super, super pumped for that. But right now, we're talking about this palette. Now, it does contain 12 shades. Super pretty. There are seven shimmers and five mattes, and this retails for $16. Now, like I said, I've been collecting ColourPop forever. I do have a lot of experience with the brand, and none of these little palettes have been bad for me. They've all been really good. I mean, not every shade is like fantastic awesome, but they are not a letdown by any means. People ask me all the time if I recommend them, and I do. I, I would recommend them over many high-end palettes because they're just such a great price point, and they don't disappoint, and I love that they charge you less for less product because, honestly, when am I going to get through any of these eyeshadow palettes? I'm going to try, but it's probably never going to happen. This is such a great palette for tan skin, too. I can't tell you guys enough like how flattering this is. All the matte shades are beautiful transitions for my skin tone. This one in particular is wonderful on the crease. It's like a pukey mustardy brown color. I love it. I love this like terracotta color in my crease. I love this shimmer shade. That's the one I wore on my lid today. I, I love this palette. I couldn't tell you enough good things about this palette. I will link it down below just to make it easier for you guys to shop for that palette. And I have been trying, guys, to link everything 
everything that I'm wearing in the video and stuff on my face in the description box as well. So if you guys haven't taken a gander into my description box, I would highly recommend that you do that. Now this product did launch on October 26th and I received the palette on October 31st, which was Halloween, which was exciting. I believe this is limited edition, but I honestly have no idea. So don't quote me on that. I did get free shipping on this because I did pick up both palettes at once and ColourPop offers free shipping if you spend $30 on their website, which is nice and it's not very hard to do. Plus, and it's still cheaper than shopping for palettes on Sephora.com because I think the average price of a palette on Sephora's website is like 40 bucks. So you can get like two, three palettes for that price on ColourPop's website, which I personally love. I do love cardboard packaging, you guys. Honestly, I was watching, um, I can't remember her name. I'm going to put her video down in the description box. It's Angelica something. She's from Sweden. I love her. She's so sarcastic. She doesn't give a fuck. I, I just love people like that that are all about the makeup and not about like the companies and the subscribers. Like you can just tell they love makeup and they're going to do YouTube no matter how many subscribers they have. You know what I mean? It's just because they just genuinely love makeup and talking about makeup, which is kind of what I'm like too. I just, I love, I love makeup. I can't think of not doing this forever because I just love talking to people about makeup. So I, she did a video about stuff she doesn't care about when it comes to like review videos. And she was talking about how people like complain about cardboard packaging. And honestly, when you have as much makeup as some people do, it is really nice to just have a small palette and have it be cardboard and easy to store. And I also agree with her about not caring about whether there's a mirror in the palette because yeah, I have a vanity mirror. I never usually do makeup like in a moving vehicle where I would need a mirror. So I don't know. I don't really think not having a mirror is a downfall at all. I love this packaging. I love this outer packaging. ColourPop always kills it. And yeah, I just, I'm slowly accumulating way too much ColourPop in my collection. It's unreal. And it's just a brand I love. I think for the most part, they're not a shady brand, which I feel like so many brands are so shady these days. I'm literally like, oh my gosh. I just can't deal with all the drama these days, but that is for another day. If you guys didn't know, ColourPop is made in the USA. They are out of California, so it is so nice to support something made in America, and they are constantly cranking out products. Um, as far as shade selection and finishes go, I think there are some really cool colors in here. This palette reminds me so much of like an affordable version of the Huda palette, especially this shade I swatched on this hand. There is a very similar shade in the Huda palette that has that purpley blue flip, so I love that. I've been loving this red satin shade. Oh my god, this foiled so beautifully on my lids today. I'm sure you guys saw that in the video. I just love creating looks with this. I have been going to town. I love this pink shade. It's like a beautiful blue pink shift on it. It's beautiful. I love the mattes. This one I had mentioned, oh god, such a creamy buttery matte shade. So I think the shade selection is wonderful. I do wish there was a brow bone highlight in here. That's the only thing I'm really like missing in this palette, but no big deal. I can just use my Viseart palette. Honestly, sometimes I just use this color, but I feel like if you're lighter than me, you might need to pull in a matte palette to get a brow bone highlight or even some transition shades because these might be a little too dark for you. So like I previously mentioned, I did wear this like all day long. It lasts so well. The wearability and the length of wear on these palettes are wonderful. They're so unique because they're not just like a boring palette. You know what I mean? Like they're simple, but I feel like there's so much punch packed in these little palettes and you can't go wrong. So. Would I recommend these palettes to you guys? 100% I would. I think you guys will love these palettes. And honestly, I don't think there's a bad one in the bunch yet when it comes to ColourPop. So even if you don't like the shades in Element of Surprise, I would try a different palette because it's going to rock your world for $16, I promise you.
So hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little review video on the palette. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I didn't really try to talk about every single thing, but I think you guys get it. I love the palette. I think if you buy it, you will too. And yeah, I'm just really loving ColourPop these days, guys. So let me know what your favorite product from ColourPop is. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.